for the mulled wine is pretty simple. We've got cinnamon sticks. So I've added one full packet of cinnamon sticks. We've got a full packet of nutmeg. We've got half a packet of star aniseed and we've got a full packet of cloves. The secret ingredient that I like to use is vanilla bean paste. So one tablespoon of vanilla bean paste, one teaspoon of lemon extract. The next or the last secret ingredient is two whole oranges. So you want to juice the oranges, but also use the orange rind. So you want to grate the orange and get as much of that rind as you can. And I've just gone for any wine, really. It's more of a cheaper one. I really like using Sac Blanc for the mild white wine. They turn out really nice. This particular recipe is for four bottles of wine. So four cheap bottles, that's all you really need. You add the sugar to taste. So if you like your mulled wine, if you're not a sweet tooth, then you, and you like your mulled wine without any sugar, that's fine. But if you want it to be sweet, just add as much sugar as you think necessary. I like to add one cup of sugar for four bottles of wine. But that is how it's looking. I like to cook it for at least half an hour on the stove. And then towards the end, I bring it to the boil once all the spices and aromas have been released. And then it's ready. This definitely needs taste testing throughout. But it's looking good. It's a really simple recipe. Once the alcohol's cooled a little bit, I then funnel it back into the bottles provided. And then you can stick really cute, fun labels over the top of the bottles. They will stay good for 14 days in a very cold fridge. So once created, you've got 14 days in the fridge to drink it. To be honest, I would drink it within seven days, just as a best before. But that would be your maximum. Because it does have the fresh orange juice and the orange rinds, which can go a little bit bad. So you want to get this drink within at least about a week or maybe 10 days. Would be the most best before, I guess. So here we have the rind of two very poorly grated oranges, but we're going to add all of that in. If you can get more, even better. I've decided to not put the juice in this time, although the juice tastes amazing. Um, these are for gifts and I want them to last a little bit longer. I'm hoping for about 14 days, so I won't use the juice and we'll just go with the rind. the finished product Christmas mulled wine 2020 so we have some white wines and we have some red wines the recipe is the same for red or white it's more so whoever you think has a preference for one or the other the red wine always tastes the best of course but the white is beautiful as well very Christmassy very festive great gifts mm -hmm. 